I, I, I literally had to do that. I had to imagine the Leafs get not getting out of the first round. I had to imagine the Leafs losing game seven before the game yesterday so that I wouldn't be surprised or full of anxiety or stress as we made our way through that game, which was just shit. It was like the worst fucking game out of the entire series. And they chose to fucking float that in the seventh game. Like I the literally game? laughed out loud when that empty netter went in. Oh, I was, I was crying. I was laughing so hard. Dying laughing. I was I was watching the game with my son. He's like, let's watch game seven, right? He's 15, doesn't want to watch the game, he's not interested in hockey. But all of his buddies were watching game seven. And I'm like, sure, come sit with me. We'll watch the game. It was one nothing. My kid looks at me and he's like, Leafs suck. I'm watching the game all year. Leafs suck. Two nothing. He's like, fuck this, this uh this Leafs team blows, eh? I'm no. like, no, they didn't all year, but yeah, they they're choosing two over a seven game. Send them to Edmonton. Now. Two of the best then, players in the world and watch them get swept out of the first round. And then three nothing. The empty net goal. Three nothing. And then Nylander scores. And he's like, How much time's left? I'm like, not enough time, dude. It's over. He's like, All right, I'm out of here. And I'm like, that's that's what I want to be when I watch these Leaf games from now on. Like, I want to be that guy be. that's like, eh, no big deal. Because and it worked for me. So my my point is this is that like this has been 60 years in the making. More people should be using negative, more Leaf fans should use negative visualization to be able to prepare for every season because the same thing happens every year. We sit and talk about how great the team is and how great Austin Matthews is and the core is phenomenal and they're going to be great. They bring into and then they're out in the first round. It happens every year. It, it wasn't a surprise when it happened against Washington because the team wasn't supposed to be that good. Wasn't a surprise really when you lost to Boston because Boston was a better team and we had a ton of question marks going into the playoffs. But for five fucking straight years, this has been happening. Five years on top of the 60 plus years that this has been happening where you can't really get anywhere or get out. But it's the first round. Like we're talk we're not talking about a playoff run. We're talking about not having the ability to actually get out of the first round. And we've got a fan base, and this is the worst part. This this elitist douchebag fan base full of <laughs> fucking losers that have way more money than brains that keep blowing their fucking wad on tickets to go and see this shit or a new jersey that costs 700 bucks or a third jersey for their kids so they can wear it for game seven and they lose again and again and again and it and it looks fucking awesome on this fan base what did you call it? negative what Negative visualization. So just imagining the worst advice. I know it's I love, great advice. I, I love it. I, Picture yourself failing. <laughs> yeah. The, the blow will be cushioned by the never believe in failure. anything. <laughs> and if a religious kid shows up to the fucking house, tell yeah. him God's not real. Yeah. Then call his mom and tell her she's a cunt. You know, tips from Dean. <laughs> That's a new segment. <laughs> Listen, it worked for me though. Like I That's was watching, fine. it was it's three bad dick. fucking advice. People no, need it's something great to believe advice. in. It's no, great it's not. advice. It no, is I'm excellent gonna get, advice. I'm getting behind Winnipeg, and I'm going to be crushed if they lose to the Habs. I'm going to imagine the Habs losing to Winnipeg. Thank you. I'm gonna imagine. I'm gonna imagine Carey Price standing on his head again, and 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 you know winning. The <laughs> uh, fuck you. You